It's just so nice coming and meeting everybody and making connections with people and actually having a sit down conversation with them, you know, getting contact information and just kind of being seeped in the environment of a bunch of really intelligent, really driven developers. I mean, it's awesome. So some of you might think I write strange C++ off the open content. You're about to see some strange other language. I promise you it's all real. Cryptic crosswords are a thing that I do every day. Last week, I released a C++ themed cryptic crossword. You can find it at that QR code. They are a little different from the regular US style. They're a little less dense. Uh, in the regular style, you would find clues like this. And you will know the answer to this clue, right? Many of you. I Idaho, yeah, Boise, Idaho. Five letters. Now, with a cryptic clue, it's designed to throw you off the scent. Every, but every clue has the answer in two ways. You must assiduously ignore what the clue is bringing to your mind. And you must carefully consider each word. Clues do not mean what they appear to say, but they must say what they mean. Let me give you an example. Here's a clue, Spin Doctor live on tour. And the answer, anyone is? Guy said revolution. Guy is a bit of a cryptic crossword aficionado. All right, that was anagrams, right? A lot of those are anagrams. Some are hidden in the actual clue themselves. You would think this makes it easy, right? Anyone see the answer to this one? Even Guy is silent. You would think the letters are right there. The answer is gerund. Oh, says Guy. These are real, folks, by the way. You might think this is strange, but these are real. OK. Sometimes, and quite often, there's a cryptic kind of definition. So in order to solve this one, it sounds like boardroom shenanigans. You need to know a possible definition of deal is a plank of wood. And the answer, therefore, is sawdust. OK. Um, sometimes you get double definitions. Potty and train both mean loco. Um, and oftentimes you get like clues put together from various parts. So this one is format is X, a can is a tin, court can be abbreviated to CT, and no more means extinct. Gasps of like other people are just okay. There's tons of other common devices. Um, this one cut disease with unlimited money, T bone. Disease is TB. When you unlimit money, you take away the limits of the word, the first and last letter, and you get O and E, and the cut is a T bone. Okay, um, there are lots of others. Yeah, so there's abbreviations you need to know, blah, blah, blah. Rare type of clue is the and lit, where the whole clue is both the definition and the cryptic thing. So a position with the game in front of it is goalie. A position is a lie, go is a game. Goalie is a position where the game plays out in front of you. Sometimes a clue is so good it makes your whole week. The answer to this one is iatrogenic. Anyway, there are, you get used to, these affect your mind. Like when you see banker or flower, you think of a river because a river has banks or a river flows. You see sweetheart, well the heart of the word sweet is the letter E in the middle there. <laughs> when you see nice day, you think that's J-O-U-R, because that's what they call a day in Nice, France. <laughs> so now you're thinking, no, these are actually real. Uh, you get quite good at them after some years or perhaps decades of daily practice. Among other things, you need knowledge of all the things listed here. <laughs> so now for the question, can ChatGPT or an LLM solve these things? Now, computers can solve them. Let's, not, let's be clear. I'm, I had a conversation with an LLM. I said, I'm going to give you the normal thing. And it says, sure, I'd be happy, blah, 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 blah. Can you give me a clue? OK. So I say, owl pursuing pussycat that's possibly ours grabbing it. 
six letters. And it says, content remove this content may violate our use of um, Well, if you can't understand that much, it's not good. Not a fan of Edward Lear. Okay. But then, it gave an answer. Okay, the word owl is a hint, that, that was wrong. No, it's not a type of bird. The word pursuing suggests something is following or chasing. Okay. That's possibly ours, could be a hint. The answer is a word that sounds like ours. No. Taking all this into consideration, the answer is spoon. Because spoon is a type of bird that's known for its ability to follow and chase insects, and it sounds like pursue. Therefore, the answer is spoon. Okay, then I tell it the right answer. The right answer is suitor. It says, you're correct, blah, blah, blah. No, it, it can't explain at all. Um, okay, so what's the point here? There are some things LLMs, so besides that it just can't do it, you know, the point here is it should never do it because cryptic crosswords are about, like reading a book, they're about a conversation between setter and solver. They're a very human thing. You know, the technical reason why LLMs can't do them is because they're designed to subvert the normal, which is kind of the opposite of what LLMs are designed to deal with. But there's a human reason here, right? Which is that they are a human pastime. Like, humans no longer play chess against computers. Um, humans still play chess against humans. In the same way, uh, uh, cryptic crosswords are a human pastime. What would the point be of using a computer even though computers can solve them? So do please try this crossword. If you've never tried them before, I'm sorry, it is gonna be a bit tricky. Ask Guy for help. Guy completed this in 10 minutes. Actually, slightly less than 10 minutes. <laughs> Thank you very much.